Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another what's inside my bag video. These are fun to film and you guys seem to like them. I switched purses, I want to say maybe about two weeks ago. So this is a good point to kind of uh, go in, see what's in there, things that I don't need and kind of like clean it back up. Not really sure what exactly is in here. I have a good idea, but then sometimes I just never know. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see what's inside my bag, because sometimes I just don't even know, then just keep watching. So before we get into what's in this bag, what's going on in this bag, I just quickly wanted to shout out. This is the LV, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Is it Cousin, Cousin? It's C-O-U-S-S-I-N. And you've probably seen this bag. It's like pretty popular right now. And it's got three compartments in it. Um... So I just went with a black one and it's got the gold, you know, hardware, gold detail. Really like it. Now you can add this chain to it. It can be like attached to go across the top like that. I kind of like it simple without the chain. So it's whatever your personal preference is. It attaches onto the side. But as you guys can see when you open it up, and I've probably got things yeah, flying around everywhere. It's got the three compartments as you guys can see. Um, but anyways, if you guys are interested in this bag, more affordable version, look in the description down below. So let's see here. First off, I have this, oh, I usually like to just throw protein powders in my bag because you never know and sometimes if I get hungry I have them in here. Um, so this is a protein bar from, is it Barbells or Bear Bells Chocolate Dough Protein Bar. Now, you guys, if you recognize them, um, these are sold at Trader Joe's. I don't know where else they're sold, but I get these at Trader Joe's. But they're kind of expensive. This is like $2.50 or something for just a protein bar. <laughs> but they're really good, so I like to have these um, on the go. Um, they have a couple other flavors as well, but I get these at Trader Joe's. Um, so that will, you know, definitely be in be eaten within the next day or two. Next is my gum, and I'm mad because I cannot find this actual tub of the Bubble Mint Orbits at Walmart or Target, my local Walmart and Target. So whenever my mom goes to like our actual like supermarkets, our local supermarket chains here, I'm in upstate New York, she'll get these for me, but this is my favorite gum. It's the Bubble Mint Orbit. The only thing I don't like about this now, especially since I'm using this bag, is how bulky it is. So I'm thinking of maybe just um, putting the gum in just a little Ziploc bag and keeping it inside so it's not like this huge tub that occupies space. So next are my sunglasses. I'm obsessed with these. They are oversized, which I love. I love oversized sunglasses. And they're kind of like that tortoise color. I like the tortoise color as opposed to black. Um, and then that's like kind of what the side looks like, as you can see. Obsessed with them. I'll put them on so you can kind of see what they look like. And again, if you guys are interested in these sunglasses, I will have a link down below for a more affordable version of them, but that's what they look like. So those are my current pair of sunglasses. Next is my wallet. It's wide open as it always is. Um, let's see if we have anything interesting going on. Um, okay, so yeah, I have Bath & Body Works coupons, you guys. This is crazy, again. And I kind of need to use them. This expires in, like, two weeks. It's just a free hand cream and 20% off my entire purchase. So I'm probably going to use them. But I've been really good. Like, I've been using up a lot of my candles from last year. I've just been really buying, like, bulbs um, for the fall. Um, and then this one is, oh, I don't need this coupon. It's $5 men's and a purse from deodorant. So this one I'm actually going to throw out. I won't use it. Um... And then this one is expired. This was 20% off your um, entire order. I had other coupons, so I actually ended up never using it. Um, and then let's see what else we have in here. So, yeah, so I have receipts uh, yesterday. I think they're from yesterday. Um, and I've mentioned these before. Um, our local deli. Um, that's where I get um, my husband and I's um, sandwich meat or lunch meat. We only eat the boar's head maple honey turkey. Um, Boris Head in general is just great and it's crazy because in upstate New York you really can't find Boris Head um, unless you go to I think ShopRite and the closest ShopRite uh, supermarket to me is I want to say like 40 minutes so I'm not doing that um, 
I know down in Florida, Publix has them. They're everywhere, which is great. But um, up here, it's really hard to find boar's head. So there's a small little deli that sells it. So that's what I get on my lunch meat to make for my husband's lunches and for me when I have my sandwiches. It's really good. You should definitely try the maple honey turkey. Um, and then, honestly, you guys, I really don't have much else going on in here. Um, okay, so I just saw something in here. So I recently started taking these about, I want to say two weeks ago, and I'm obsessed with them. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of colostrum before, but this is the Armra colostrum. It's immune revival, and this is, they sell them in tubs or packets, so I like the packets, and they have um, un, unflavored, or they have, I think, watermelon and orange. The watermelon's really good, too, but I've been doing the orange. These are just easy because you can, like, pour them in your mouth with water or pour them into your water. Um, you take one packet a day. This is really good for your immune system, but um, that's not primarily why I take it. This helps with bloating, and you guys, the bloating, it's, it's, it gets, especially for women, it gets really bad, and this really helps with bloating, and the longer you take it, um, the more results you'll see, um, and there's a bunch of other different benefits. Also, uh, you don't have to take collagen supplements for hair growth and um, hair, skin, nail growth, because this helps with that. So that's really cool. You can just like look up all the different um, benefits of colostrum. So this one I've really been liking. It's like transforms my gut and the bloating and then just other benefits as well. I'll link it down below. But anyways, I like to keep a packet with me on the go in here. And next are my wireless earbuds I mention all the time. And I honestly cannot believe these have lasted as long as they have. I want to say maybe three years or so. I paid like under $20 for them. Um, you can't even see the name that was right here. But I'll link similar ones down below. Um, I use these when I go to the gym um, and when I'm out and about and I want to listen to something on my phone. But also these serve as a Bluetooth as well, which I love. Um, so I don't have to like, you know, hold my phone up to my ear, especially if I go for walks. This is nice because I can talk on the phone with these in my ears or I can listen to stuff. So, um, yeah, I will link a similar version down below, but you don't need to spend like hundreds of dollars on fancy name brand, name brand, excuse me, earbuds. These are at least I certainly don't want to. So these do the job. Okay. So now we're getting into the middle compartment, which is like, honestly, like all lip products, like, oh my goodness. And hand sanitizers. So let me start with the hand sanitizers. So this one is afternoon apple picking. I really love this. I love the way it smells. I think I have the hand soap of this as well. Um, and then this one is watermelon lemonade. I have like literally like a little bit left. So I actually need to use this one before I use that one just so I don't have two going on. So I don't want to throw it away yet because there is a little bit left. Um, and then for the lip products, a lot of these I've mentioned before you guys. Um, so we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. Um, it's kind of already getting kind of small to be honest with you, but I really love this lip liner. It's really pretty. And then next I have this Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss and it is in the shade Just Friends. I really like this lip gloss. Right now I know it looks kind of dark you guys because the sun is being blocked by the clouds currently. Um, but yeah, I really like this lip gloss and this one's lasted a really long time. I think I remember um, mentioning the Tarte, um, the Maracucha Juicy, um, the lip balm or whatever it was. That lasted me like, I don't even know, less than a month. It was crazy. This has lasted me months. Um, I wasn't a fan of the lip balm. I think that's what it was, the lip balm that they had. But this right here is their Maracucha Juicy Lipstick. This I actually really like. This is in the shade Buffed Pink. Um, I don't think I have this on today. I can swatch it out for you guys, but it's just another nice neutral shade. Their lip liners are really good too, Tarte's lip liners, but that's what it looks like. So I really like the lipsticks, but the lip balms or whatever the heck they were, the push-up ones, I did not like them. They did not last long at all in terms of like when you put them on your lips, like after like five minutes, you'd have to put it on again. And then I like literally finished the whole tube in like less than a month, I feel like. So um, anyways, that's, um, oh wait, we have one more. Hold on. Uh, we have Mac Faux, which is always in here. Actually, let's swatch Mac Faux. Let's see how similar it is in color. All right, so Mac Faux seems like it's a little bit more of a pinky nude, whereas the buffed pink uh, color is more of like a peachy nude. But it's a nude. They're all nudes. 
I'm a nude girl. What can I say? Okay, let's get into this last pocket. So I have my keys right here. Nothing major going on. What else do we have in here? Oh, we have this. I finally switched out my little like pocket thingy that was um, carrying all my emergency items into this one right here. Um, so yeah, we just have a lot of odds and ends. I have band-aids, I've got nail glue in case one of my nails falls off. I've got a brush, a mirror, I've got hair ties right here. Um, what else? We've got, you know, the essentials for that time of the month in case I get it when I'm on the go. Um, we've got tweezers as well. So yeah, just odds and ends. Tylenol. I think I have Tylenol, Midol in here. Just some basic stuff. I very, very, very rarely open this up, you guys. But again, and I mentioned this in many videos, if I don't have that little like emergency um, zipper pocket, uh, something will happen when I need it. So that's why I always like to keep it in. I know it kind of takes up a lot of room. Actually, my bag was not that bad. Um, I got some things that I didn't need in there out. I think with this bag, I love it, but I don't like the three compartments. Um, I just like one big compartment. Um, I don't know. And then it's it's bad because I'm like not in the habit of zippering this back up. I just want it to be open all the time. But um. Yeah, I just kind of, I don't know, like I have kind of like a love-hate relationship with this bag right now. I like it. I just kind of wish it was just this divider wasn't in the middle and it was one big bag. But hence that it wouldn't have this nice little design going on here. But anyways, let me know in the comments down below what's inside your bag. Is it a hot mess or is it very organized? Do you like big bags? Do you like small bags? Also, if you guys are interested in the bag or the glasses, look down below. But anyways, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.